Sagittarius, how are you? We're doing your love reading for the month of January. Let's get started, guys. What deck should I use for you? Let's use this one over here. This is called the Lonesome World Tarot. <clears throat> I got this deck today in the mail and I used it for a urgent reading that I did uh, today in the afternoon. So this is the second time that I'm using it. So I'm uh, kind of familiar with the art in it already and I really like it. There's this retro, there's a retro vibe to this deck that I really appreciate uh, and the simplicity as well. Let's get started. Sagittarius. Okay, why am I hesitating just a little bit? This is the position of the relationship, the connection of your love life. Let's see what we get here. We have the Page of Cups. There could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces of significance, maybe a younger individual for some of you. And then we have the Devil. So you saw how I was hesitating just a little bit? You know, it's that damn Devil energy we have here. Capricorn of significance. There is a person here who is immature. Okay, They're, they don't have a whole lot. We could say I'm hearing of experience in love or in, I'm hearing in harmonious relationships, connections, uh, in love. Okay, they're, um, they have some very negative um, points of view uh, of uh, ways behavior patterns here that are really holding, I'm hearing them, them back, that are restricting them in love and that pose a problem at the present moment. There's uh, restrictions and limitations here, guys, in love, page of cups. Um, let's see, one more card. We have the Four of Cups. I don't know how this, this individual doesn't know how to approach uh, love. They don't know how to approach love. That's like, that's what, that's what I'm getting. Or I'm getting, they don't know how to approach love in these circumstances. The Four of Cups. This is about somebody, guys, like being, it's like emotion, it's emotion, it's difficult to deal with your emotions in the Four of Cups. It's a heavy, saturated kind of feeling as well. <sighs> there is love here, guys. Look, there's two damn cups that are being emphasized. You see, there's a big cup here. I thought it was the Ace of Cups, but it's the Page of Cups. And then here is a big cup right there in the middle that's being highlighted. So there's much to celebrate here, guys. I'm hearing the thing that there is to celebrate is that there is love. Three of Cups, guys, I'm seeing the Three of Cups. That's like something to celebrate, okay? I'm seeing that like the Three of Cups a card in the tarot. And then there, Ace of Cups, I'm seeing this as it, there's something to celebrate here and there. It, it, the, it's love. But the present circumstances are not allowing, I'm hearing this person or you, the both of you, uh, to fully a, a, a enjoy love. Because I feel like there's a lot here that is being held back, guys, with the Page of Cups. Yeah. I feel like there's a person here that is holding themselves back. I, I feel like this is a negative behavior pattern that they have, okay? We have the Seven of Cups. And we have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then we have the Sun card, one more card, Leo of Significance. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. With the Page of Wands, guys, and then this Seven of Cups here, I feel like there's a lack of clarity. There, there's a, there, I don't really want to say a lack of clarity. In fact, it's not a lack of clarity, guys. It's almost like having too much clarity. That's what I'm hearing right now is having too much clarity. I'm hearing and what that, and what that clarity offers. I'm hearing there's just so, there's just so much. Clarity is confusing. Interesting. Having so much clarity is confusing. It's what I'm getting uh, for one particular individual here. In particular, the one that is entertaining this devil energy. <sighs> one more card for this page of wands and the seven of cups. One more card spit. We 
have the Six of Cups. Um, let's just say that this is the, I'm getting that this is the masculine energy here with this Page of Wands and the Seven of Cups. <sighs> Very conflicting energy that, I, that I'm getting. Um, I feel like they think about you, the situation, quite often, Six of Cups. Um, I feel like the past is very much of significance. It's like a, a um, something that this individual, it's a very prominent thing in their life. I'm hearing the past, okay, the past, the history here. His, the history, I mean, the moments together, all that, it's, it's of great significance to this person. But at this time, I hear they have so much clarity that it, it's, it's, um, it's almost crippling here with this devil. It's restricting them. Um, and with the Page of Wands, I feel like there is this desire within them to, like, take some sort of action, move forward in some kind of way. But with the Seven of Cups, I feel like they're not entirely, perhaps, sure of, of how to do that. Because I'm hearing there's so many ways of approaching this. Um, there's so many ways of approaching this. And I'm hearing then that's the problem. I feel like this individual, okay, the masculine energy or this 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 person here, uh, what that came out with the devil, I feel like they're so used to perhaps not being able to make decisions for themselves. I feel like they need like to really be sure kind of thing. Uh, we have the justice card, we have the will of fortune, and then we have the ten of wands. With the justice and the will of fortune, guys, I feel like this is... Um, the present circumstances I'm hearing for the masculine energy, okay, are very much unforeseen. I feel like everything that's happening at this time in this situation in your love life and this in this yeah relationship, guys, I think it's very much un unforeseen. Um, and I feel like with the just justice card, the masculine finds themselves in a position with the seven of cups and the page of wands to ha to to take a risk. I don't feel like they're used to taking risks. There's definitely a risk. I feel like this 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 uh, masculine energy is afraid. They're they're afraid. And they find themselves in a position just as in the will of fortune I'm hearing where they're going to have to accept that the present circumstances are unpredictable. I mean, so no matter what it is that they do, I'm hearing what it is that is that I mean, they should not expect. They should do and then not expect because it's unforeseen. It's unpredictable what will take place. I mean, that's the position that uh, this relationship finds itself in. I mean, where? It's unpredictable. I'm hearing the reaction. Or what will take place. I feel like that's the masculine energy that finds themselves in that energy. And I'm feeling kind of sick to my stomach right now where it's like very uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's what's restricting and limiting the, this, this individual here. With the sun card and then this queen of pentacles. Um, this is the feminine energy, guys. Look look at those colors. I mean, they just, they, they re they're really standing out to me. So with the sun card, guys, I feel like the feminine energy has incredible... Um, we could say a vision at, at this time, very much uh, connected, I'm hearing, with themselves. They're very grounded. They're very present. The crown is very much standing out here. And that's like a beanstalk, right? So I do feel like the feminine energy, okay, find, has been very, I'm hearing, I don't want to say open, but very clear, okay? And again, I keep getting like the, that, that things are just so clear, I don't feel like that masculine energy is used to things being so clear for them. It's like the cl the clarity, I'm hearing the transparency here, it's confusing. Wow. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I feel like this feminine energy, guys, has really, I'm hearing set the tone or they've built, I'm hearing uh, this foundation where... 
um, that I'm hearing that allows the masculine, in a sense, we could say to climb, okay, climb, climb and look down and see this entire situation from a different perspective. I feel like that is something that the feminine is, is, is giving the masculine at this time. That's very beautiful, guys, because here we see an individual that is having to break uh, free from some ne some negative ways, we could say, that restrict and that limited them, that restrict their emotions, that cripple them in a sense and hold them back, uh, that does that do not allow, I'm hearing them, the masculine energy here, that, that does not allow them, I'm hearing, to explore, to live to make important decisions i'm hearing to trust themselves in their in their own um and then right now i heard convictions page of wands and then the seven of cups the masculine finds themselves in a position where they're having to step out of their, out of their comfort zone that's what they're having to do and what when i said that this is beautiful guys is because um, I see a feminine energy here being very supportive, but supportive in the way that they're not allowing or doing, making um, this decision for, for, for the masculine energy. Uh, they've taken, we could say, like this other approach of like, look, I've done, I've set the tone, the energy, whatever you want to call it here. I've done my part, I'm hearing, in providing you with whatever it is that you need here. I'm here to be able to see, you see, see this entire situation from a higher perspective, the sun card. So that's very beautiful, guys, because I feel like um, the masculine might not feel this, okay, because I feel like the masculine energy could be feeling pressured, okay, but it's the, the they might not feel like the feminine is being supportive, but in fact, they very much are, and, and they're being supportive in in uh i'm hearing giving okay the masculine energy clarity and that clarity in itself although i'm hearing at first is a little confusing for the masculine okay to take in because they're having to i'm hearing take those that information okay and do something with it at first it could be confusing but i'm hearing it's meant to help them make this decision it's 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 meant to help uh the masculine energy trust themselves it, it, it's like when you have to make a tough decision, guys. Kind of, let's look at this like a judge, right? It's like, here's all the information that you need in order for you to make a verdict. Ideal circumstances, in a sense. I got all, everything I need that, that in all this, okay, all these details, all this information, all of this, okay, that I have is really, you know, give, giving me, it's giving me what I need to be able to, to make this to make this very important decision. The masculine is not doing it. I don't feel like the feminine will be either. Here we have this Ten of Wands. With the Ten of Wands being here, guys, I feel like the feminine energy is coming from a place of like I got. I don't feel like. There's a lot going on with the feminine energy, Ten of Wands. And I feel like because of that, there um, that is of significance, guys. There's a lot going on in the feminine's energy. And I also feel like the feminine, okay, just has done everything it is in her power, okay? I'm hearing feminine, you've done everything it is in your power already, okay? Your part's already done. I'm hearing what is left next to do, it does not fall on you. No, you've already done enough in this entire situation. Here we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's get one more card to this King of Swords. And here you need to know that you've carried yourself correctly and you've done, um, you've made the right decisions. Know that in moving forward. And here we have the Ace of Pentacles and then we have the Ace of Swords. Wow. Yeah, and then here we have the tower. This is good. This is, I mean, there's something here that the masculine is doing, okay? There is something here that the masculine energy is doing that is not going, that is not uh, being fed. I feel like the feminine knows, okay, this requires a new approach, a, a new um 
perspective, a new approach and a new perspective here. I'm hearing it in, in, in all of this, okay? The feminine knows that. I feel like the feminine is like I've done enough. And with the king of swords, if you do not feel that way, my dear uh, feminine, you need to know. I mean, that you have to stay focused and, and, and that you have to uh, trust the decisions that you've made. And pretty much what we have here, if you have not made this decision, is that, look, the masculine finds himself in an energy where they really have to uh, find, find their own way and make their own decisions. Now, that decision, they might make the bad decision. Will of Fortune and then this Justice card. That says, right, that, that the outcome here, okay, of whatever the masculine is going to do, well, it's kind of unpredictable. I mean, and that's the whole point here. I mean, you, you can't expect to allow someone the freedom I'm hearing to make, you know, a decision here. And not allow them to, the, I mean, what that means, guys, is allowing the person the freedom to make the right or the or bad decision here. That's pretty much what we find ourselves at, guys. And I feel like that makes the masculine energy incredibly uncomfortable. And I feel like that's what's happening here. I feel like what I'm hearing is, look, feminine, you've provided enough already. You've been incredibly supportive. I'm hearing, believe it or not, and you've given this masculine everything it is that they need. I'm hearing to climb up and see a higher perspective, okay? Now, I'm hearing you need to let them make their own decisions, okay? I'm hearing, and again, you, you've already done your part, guys. In moving forward, it's a whole new approach that you have to take a new way of seeing all of this, okay? You've done enough. Let's see one more card, guys, with the justice and then this will of fortune. Well, let's see if we could get, you know, kind of an inclination here where this, you know, is going to be moving, how it's going to be moving forward. We have the world card and then we have the six of wands. That's good, guys. The world card and then the six of wands. The six of wands is victory, it's success, it's accomplishment, it's rising above, it's making the right decision. You see that? And then here with this world card, guys, there could be an Aquarius of significance. I feel like this is uh, the masculine energy finally coming around here to making the, the, the best decision for this situation. There could be some sort of travel here as well for some of you guys. Relocation, travel, one more card. Whatever the case, I feel like the message here where this is going to be going is that you can expect the masculine energy here. I'm hearing to get out of their comfort zone. And we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, guys. Absolutely. Look, and here's that Justice card again. It's the Six of Pentacles. This is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is a mental block, guys. This is worry. This is difficulty. And with the Six of uh, Wands, okay, I feel like this is the masculine energy, okay? Or the outcome, let's just say, is being worried here about what, what's going to happen. That's interesting. So what that tells me is that the masculine, okay, whatever that is for each and every one of you, okay, what the masculine here needs to do, it's it's going to be different slightly, right? But it's something that makes them uncomfortable. It's something that is not like them. It's something, that, in fact, that I feel like it's difficult. And well, I mean, they're in the position to to where, I mean, in this situation, it's what it calls for. So with the World card and the Six of Wands, I do see them finally getting around to that. And with the Eight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles being in a position of like, what's going to happen now? I mean, which is exactly what needs to happen here. That in itself, guys, sometimes it, putting someone, not necessarily putting someone, right, but people, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> so sorry about that, um, going through something is all it takes, going through something, here specifically getting out of your comfort zone. I see that happening. Okay, so that is the outcome. Um, getting out of your comfort zone, getting around to doing something here. That is what you can expect from all this. All right, let's get an Oracle card for you, my dear Sagittarius. Let's get it from, let's get it from here. 
Saggy. This is uh, the Romance Angels. <clears throat> Sagittarius, if you want to book a reading with me, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to votrevoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. If you have an Instagram, please do follow me on there. That link is down below. Sagittarius. Okay. We have, you deserve love. You are lovable. Cross watcher, Sagittarius, you need to know. Okay, you are absolutely lovable. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Certainly, we have a situation here where a mere cooperation compromise is definitely needed to bring two people closer. I see that happening. And then here we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So again, that is like stepping out of your comfort zone. I see that happening, guys. It's right here, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This is what I have for you, my dear. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was my honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.